I'm running around trying to film. I receive a call from a person who works at the Census Bureau, which is amazing. And they said, like, there's some information I have on the census. I can't speak to the press, but I follow you on TikTok. And there's just some stuff that I thought you should know. This person could get in trouble, you know, making TikToks about it and making public statements that could possibly cost them their job. So I said, I'm on it. I'm all over it. <laughs> so I am at the Census Bureau in Washington, D.C. I have an employee that would like to remain anonymous. Okay, so if they identified you from this video, you, you would be fired. Most likely, yeah. The president did not get the, uh, the role he wanted in place months ago to, uh, to ask about citizenship on the 2020 census. He lost the case. He then decided to make a new rule that he will now not count anyone uh, who does not say they are a citizen or claims to not to be illegal. They will not have political representation or funding to help them or the community. So he's basically putting everyone, including the director of the Census Bureau, in uh, between a rock and a hard place. And so you're also explaining to me Donald Trump has two executives in the same exact role. One is appointed by Donald Trump and they are basically to, you know, sit there and make sure that everything is getting done Trump's way. Since the, the director may have not been as cooperative as, cooperative as Trump has liked, uh, he's placed additional uh, political appointees within the bureau to be working side by side with the director and deputy director. Kind of like low-key bullying, uh, basically watching and making sure he's doing what Trump has asked him to do. Because if they can eliminate the numbers in Hispanic communities, then they can withhold possibly million, millions, possibly billions of funding to those to those areas. This is aimed specifically at Latinx communities. That the Census Bureau has historically been a lot of data nerds. They're not they're they're apolitical in their in their job in the execution of their job. But this is now being under Trump is being used. They're trying to weaponize this data. Correct. He's using us as a counting machine uh, to further his agenda. And so other things people don't know about the Census Bureau is uh, you're saying what about GPS coordinates? Yes, uh, we are responsible for, for plotting houses. That's what we look for. We're all about accuracy. We want to see how many houses are in these areas. It, it uh, helps make roadways, school zones, and plots the GPS coordinates that are then used in your GPS navigation device. He's going to be able to use the census data to, um, to kick them out of the country. I wouldn't go that far. I would say that he is interested in subtracting the number of the total population of um, undocumented citizens. When in the Constitution, it is stated that we are to count every human being on the soil, regardless of citizenship. Citizenship question is not on the census, but uh, he stated that he wants anyone who is not a citizen, a citizen later subtracted from the total. The, the shadow executives that Donald Trump is placed in the Census Bureau. What uh, what are some of the things that they're they're currently doing? All I know is that the director showed up, and there are two other people sitting in his office doing his role now. Additionally, in, it, along with him, that didn't belong there, and he had no hand in putting in place. They are sitting there, and I don't know. I guess they're going to make sure that that they're following the orders. Oh, and then, so another thing that I thought was really funny, I forgot about. Tell me about Joey Salads and the Census Bureau. Well, Joey Salads' friend is one of the new political appointees here. And this guy worked as Joey Salads' uh, campaign advisor at some point when he was running in the Republican Party. The guy's been hired in an executive role at this U.S. Census Bureau, was a former campaign manager for Joey Salads. Joey Saladino uh, was running for Congress uh, in Staten Island, New York. And that, that is his like only qualification. That's about it. For any of you that know Joey Salads, the guy that used to work for Joey Salads is now in an executive role at the Census Bureau, which is amazing. That's, uh, that's Trump's America. Um, it's kind of crazy. I, I put on this, right? I couldn't put on, I couldn't do a Trump hat. I couldn't do the MAGA hat. So I thought of this, it, it's more neutral but like it's sort of whatever you want it to be. I just 
got approached by this woman. She asked me to take her picture in front of Trump Hotel. She's like, I'm assuming you're also a patriot. And I was like, oh my God, this is so perfect. And I met a fellow patriot. Yes. Why, why are you voting for Trump? He's the best. I mean, it's, you're putting me on the spot. Oh, okay, yeah. So let me ask you something. This is going to be in the news in the next few days. No one knows about it just yet. How do you feel about Hillary Clinton's plan to take away Oreo cookies? It's horrifying. It's simply horrifying. It's terrible. She really is. What? I mean, you gotta look it up, you know? <laughs> look it up, what you know? For? She's going to take away America's Oreo cookies. That's, you know, wake up, America. <laughs> yeah, it's, you heard it here first. <laughs> Cheers. So I am at the Capitol building right now. So it's been kind of nervous shooting in front of these places. I don't know how long I'm going to be allowed to shoot there. So far it's been okay. It's not like New York City. I don't get nervous that easily. There are times when I'm thinking, wow, if I'm getting nervous right now, there must be something wrong. It's not my town, it's not my hometown, it's not my hood. So, to just run around making WAP videos in front of federal buildings, you know, you don't know how far you can go before you run afoul of uh, the law. Every morning before work, I grab an iced coffee, then I just look at historic buildings. That is the Trump International Hotel. Look at that. It used to be the post office. That's right. This used to be the United States headquarters for the post office, and it is now a Trump hotel, which is a perfect metaphor for Trump's America. It's perfect. I like the coffee in Washington, D.C. It's good. So I'm shooting at the Lincoln Memorial. There's kind of a sanctity about being on the inside of it. There's something sacred about the inside. So I don't, I'll respect the inside. I'll just shoot like a little something funny, but I won't go all out. From the top, make it drop. That's some wet, that's some wet. Now get a bucket and a mop. That's some wet, that's some wet. I'm talking wop, wop, wop. That's some wet, that's some wet. Macaroni in a pot. That's some wet, that's some wet. Huh. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass fewer. Give me everything you've got for this wet ass fewer. Beat it up, N word. Catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Put this P word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Hop on top. I want to ride. I do a kegel while well, it's inside. Spit in my mouth. Look in my eyes. This P word is wet. Come take a dive. It continued uh, along these lines. Uh, and it gets significantly, significantly more vulgar. Like, oh, a lot more vulgar.